welcome to another episode of Wellbeing Matters. My name is Jess, I'm your wellbeing coach and chaplain. Really excited to be doing part two of our series on emotions and emotional regulation. If you haven't seen the first video yet, I recommend you go back and check it out because it talks about what emotions are and what purpose they all serve, even the ones we don't enjoy. But over the next couple of weeks, I will be focusing on some specific strategies to help us manage our emotions and to regulate them, especially in the moment. So this week, I'm going to focus on three strategies for you. But first, what is regulating our emotions? It's really our attempt to influence and control our emotions. What emotions we have, how we're feeling in the moment, how we express those emotions or how we stop ourselves from expressing those emotions or getting really heightened. It's basically our attempt to influence or control our emotions and our expression of them. So strategy number one, it's called selecting the situation. What do I even mean by this? So we know that in life, there might be certain places, certain events, activities or people that can make us feel a certain way. So perhaps we visit a place that holds some memories for us and they're a little bit sad and we might choose to avoid going to that place. So that's selecting the situation to avoid those emotions of sadness. We might schedule in activities such as exercise or hanging out with our friends on the weekend uh, or doing some sewing or some other hobby because we know that that activity or those people help energize us and feel, make us feel happy. So we actually uh, choose situations to make us feel emotions that are good. We might avoid certain people that really drain us or frustrate us and try and spend less time with them. So all of these things are about trying to choose the situation uh, based on what emotions they bring up. Now we can't choose all situations, we can't avoid all negative emotions, and we can't avoid all people. So we need some other strategies as well. Strategy number two is modifying the situation. So for example, during a heated argument or a difficult conversation, that we are in, we can't avoid, we might modify the situation and intervene by perhaps apologizing to bring the heat out of the conversation if we need to apologize. Perhaps we choose our response by staying silent and listening first. Or maybe we choose to take a break from the conversation and step away from it and then come back to it. So that's an example of adapting the situation and choosing our response in that situation to help modify and that will help sometimes shift the emotions. It can also look like enlisting support. For example, we might know we have a difficult doctor's appointment coming up or perhaps we're attending a funeral and we know that that's going to bring up some really difficult emotions and so we enlist support and we modify the situation by making sure that we've got someone there with us who's going to support us or making sure that we've got someone that we can call after that appointment or spend time with afterwards to help navigate some of those emotions. So that's modifying the situation. Strategy three is called attentional focus. This is all about where we direct our attention. So for example, we're standing in a long line, we're really frustrated, we're bored, we're impatient. Rather than attending to those emotions, we redirect our attention to something else. So we might choose to focus on striking up a conversation with someone in that line, or we might choose to focus on our breathing in that time or chuck some ear pods in and listen to our favorite song. So that's redirecting our attention. Distraction is another example of this activity. Uh, and sometimes that can be really helpful in the short term. Distraction is a good technique not a long-term technique though, because we do have to deal with our emotions, but distraction can be really good in the moment, um, but redirecting our attention because it's the opposite to rumination. So when we actually dwell on certain feelings or thoughts, we actually increase their intensity and their power. So redirecting our attention to something different, shifting that perspective, 
um, or distracting ourselves can be really helpful uh, to making sure that perhaps a difficult or negative emotion doesn't grow and grow and grow by focusing our attention on it. So those are the three strategies. Strategy one was select the situation. Strategy two, modify the situation. Strategy three is all about attentional focus or redirecting our attention. So next week, I'm going to go into a few more strategies, but in particular ones that will really help with our physical response to emotions. So those are those moments where we get really heightened, things are really heated and things are boiling over. What do we do in those moments? I'm gonna deal with that in the next video, so stay tuned. Thanks for joining me.